Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your singles love reading. Completely single, nearly single, being single a long time. Let's see what's happening. Oops, Aquarius. Almost dropped that whole deck. Don't want to do that. I need it. Aquarius, Aquarius singles. New love connections, new love prospect. Who's interested in you, Aquarius? What do you need to know? anyone coming your way who's interested in you or you're interested in them yes these readings and energies can flip Aquarius new love connections new love prospects for Aquarius what does Aquarius need to know Aquarius 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 what does Aquarius need to know about new love prospects and new love connections there we go you have a hermit and wise counsel. Ooh, these cards are coming out. So I feel like there's a very collective message uh, for a lot of you to have faith, to do a little soul searching, figure out what it is you want and be wise. Okay, just make wise choices. Some of you have a Virgo or a Taurus energy around you. It's possible. Yes, Aquarius. But I feel like it may be time for you to soul search as well. Okay, and figure it out exactly what you want. Have faith in yourself, too, to make a right choice. Because I feel as though there is possibly someone checking you out. There could be any sign. This person is possibly trying to gain some kind of faith to come towards you. This could be somebody soul-searching at the way they, con they conduct themselves. Soul-searching commitment. They may be checking you out to see if you're married. Be a lot of... A lot of... Uh, different possibilities so let's see where it's going Aquarius there we go yeah so there is a communication coming I see you have a knight of swords yeah so there is someone here who is this someone who's possibly they could be a Virgo Gemini Libra Aquarius or a Taurus really anyone I feel this air energy it's somebody who wants to communicate they want to come after you but they keep changing their mind yeah so you have the emperor yeah so you've got now you've got an aries energy <laughs> there's someone here who this is an emperor this is somebody so i feel like you've got someone here who's not going to give up some of you are looking for this emperor you're being wise you want someone who's commitment material do you feel you have a communication coming? Something is coming in very quickly. Somebody is leaving the scene here. Now, you may have very strong boundaries. You may have so such a strong boundaries here that somebody is a, who wants to come in and talk to you has actually changed their mind, has taken off in the other direction. But it could be you. You may have changed your mind. It's telling you to be wise, okay? But you have an emperor here. Aquarius and Aries possibly doesn't have to be Aquarius do love interests new love connections there we go yeah so you're weighing the pros and the cons or somebody else is about coming towards you but I feel like it's you and I feel like you have a couple of people checking you out and you're probably trying to make a decision here or somebody else is about how to approach you someone isn't going to give up and somebody is. Someone's a quitter and somebody's not. <laughs> I mean, you could be in this energy yourself where you have really strong boundaries. I do see some kind of success and victory, though. I feel like there's somebody who is aiming for success. They're not going to give up. Yeah, so somebody here is doesn't want to give up and somebody is like... Yeah, you got a choice. I'm going to just leave it at that for now. So I feel like what you have is somebody headed your direction. Yeah, you got movement. Someone's headed in your direction. Ooh, you have a, somebody wants to come to your home. They want to come and see you. Ooh, three. And then we have, yeah, not so sure you want to invest. You may have, some of you got a few people headed in your direction. I feel like you've got somebody who's immature, maybe a little immature, a little focused on themselves, energy, somebody younger than you or acts younger than you. I feel as though you're not investing in that person. They may want to come to your home. This person may be wanting to come and talk to you. 
just going to put this up here. I feel as though, oh my gosh, you guys, you got two or three people. And if it's an energy of one person, I'll read it that way as well, because a lot of times that's the case. People go through, you know, a series of emotions and, and movements and actions when they're interested in someone. So I feel like you're, unless somebody wants to invest in a commitment, you're not interested. But there is someone who wants to invest. They may be coming in. I feel like you're being patient. I do. I feel like you're being very patient or maybe someone's being patient with you. But you have movement. You have some kind of victory and success. Someone's aiming for it. But you have a choice between a couple of people. One is younger, maybe a little too focused on themselves. Yeah, you can't see a way forward, Aquarius. Look at that. You're not so sure. Boy, isn't that the case? If you have a couple of people and there is somebody who's immature, I feel, or anybody who's trying to control you, uh, you won't go over that either not going to happen. So I feel like you're a little indecisive. You're trying to figure out who is your person. But I do see you having some kind of success. I see somebody wanting to come and see you, traveling to see you, wanting to come to your home. You may get an invitation where somebody may invite you to their home. You may not be so sure you want to invest in it though, even though it's telling you to be patient and just wait to see what happens. Somebody is going to communicate, and then once they communicate with you, they're going to sit back and wait to see what whether you will invite them to your home, that kind of thing. Yeah, so there's that home. They're waiting for an Somebody's trying to get you to invite them to their home or vice versa. Yeah, there's a communication. Ooh, there's a lot of communication. I feel as though some of you are just going out. You're keeping your options open. You're not making any decisions right now. You definitely have a couple people checking you out. Yeah, you're being very confident. You're in the Queen of Wands energy. I feel like yeah, you're focused on yourself, your home, your money, uh, your career, your financial foundation. You want commitment. And I feel like you're just standing there ready to stand up for yourself. And you aren't settling. I don't see you settling. You're, it's all good. So yeah, you've got in, people interested. Tell me about the hermit. Yeah, so look at, there's that hermit. Look, that's the person who is, uh, so it could be uh, a Virgo or it could be an Aries. Somebody who's maybe a bit of a loner. Maybe they're a bit introverted or just looking for answers, checking you out. This is someone who's not giving up. So you have one person that will not give up. No, yeah, so there you are. <laughs> yes, or it's them. Yeah, they could be waiting for you to communicate and vice versa. They could be very stubborn, set in their ways. They want everything their way. They want you to communicate, invite them to your house, or make you. they want you to do the invitation. But an emperor usually won't. An emperor is usually someone who comes in and takes that lead because this is someone who's pretty fearless. Yeah, so I feel as though, yeah, your ships are here. You've got people interested in you, and I do feel like there's an ending. Something is about to come to an end. Some of you may end something with a person who uh, is introverted. They want everything their way. It's their way or the highway. It could be that energy as well. We got the emperor here twice. In fact, you could have several emperor energies. You may have a... Have a group of people or a couple people around you or just kind of want what they want they want their cake and eat it too or you got two people who aren't giving up i see a lot of passion a lot of communication look at this there's someone has some very deep feelings here so you may have ended something with a person and you've got your options open because you're waiting for the one somebody may see you as the one and they may actually have some very deep feelings for you There's a period in your life that is over. The communication's coming. Things are going to start speeding up here. So for those of you who are newly single <laughs> or have been single for a while, you have somebody who's watching you in secret, keeping their eye on you. Could be just a secret admirer, somebody who kind of is trying to figure out how to get things going in their direction. You may have the energy of the emperor as well. Okay, you very well could have extremely strong boundaries. You kind of want things to go your way. Uh, I feel like you won't take your guard down. 
you have some kind of indecisive energy you may be up in your head a little too much or you're trying to make a choice between two and you can't see a way forward with several people or at least one especially this one i don't think you see a way forward to this person who's focused all on themselves all about me 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 you see that yeah somebody who's just here for a good time not a long time yeah, that's you, you can't see a way forward with that person. So you may actually even have a couple more people. So yeah, you're definitely giving up. You're letting this person go. You won't surrender to this person. So yeah, you're weighing the pros and the cons. There's something out of balance with this person. They probably don't come towards you in a balanced way. Wow. So and then we got these two that popped out. Look at that. You have someone looking for answers, looking for clarity. Somebody's about to communicate with you. They want to talk to you. Uh, they're looking for clarity. They will find it. Or you have someone here who never tells the truth. They hold back. You know, they're looking for answers, trying to figure out how to communicate. But I feel there's a choice between two. One who's younger, who doesn't communicate clearly, doesn't always tell the truth. You're letting that person go. You will not surrender yourself to that person. You have very strong boundaries. Interesting. <laughs> you guys, I'm telling you, Aquarius. Yeah, and then you've got this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And this could be you, very clear. And you may make yourself very clear. But I feel like it's the person headed in your direction. You know, you have somebody who comes in. They rush in. And because you have very strong boundaries, they rush back out. That's probably this person. They're probably trying to figure out what the heck's going on. Because you, you have, you know, you're guarded. you got your boundaries up. You're like, yeah, I don't see a way forward with this person. No, I'm not surrendering myself to them. Nope, not going to happen. Then you have this person who's strategizing to come towards you. This is someone who's up in their head strategizing. They're aiming for success. That's the emperor that's chasing you down here. <laughs> Tell me about this Eight of Wands. What is this communication for Aquarius? There we go. Cancer Pisces energy is very strong. But it's that moon energy. You have somebody watching you secretly. This is somebody who's, I feel like they're strategizing. They're trying to figure out what's going on with you. Um, or they're just coming up with a, their strategy and how they're going to have success with you. Somebody very successful. Um, self-made very hard working yeah this is someone who's trying to figure something out see this is someone who's trying to figure things out they don't want you to get away someone doesn't want you to get away now you might have boundaries against everyone i feel like you've got your boundaries up but it's also an energy of two emperor types coming towards you one of them is definitely you can't see a way forward they're too focused on themselves yeah, I can really see that. And then you've got, oh, you might even have three. <sighs> Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I feel as though there's someone who's trying to figure out how to approach you. They're looking for answers, looking for clarity. They don't want you to get away. You may be going out meeting new people, okay, as well. You may have ended something with somebody here who was an emperor somebody who wanted everything their way or this is the kind of energy you don't want you're not going to be allowing those kind of people in your life uh, you're and this is where you're able to spot it you're keeping things to yourself i feel as though you're very private but you've got a secret admirer as well but you've got this person too now i feel as though that you've got a couple people trying to figure <laughs> you out two people do not want you to get away Somebody is definitely very emotional, has feelings for you, very deep feelings. And this actually could be all one person. It's like I said, sometimes it's the energy of one person and the stages they go through. But you know, you're in this, you're right here. You're not so sure. I see two. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. There we go. Yeah, this one wanted to come out first. Yeah, so I feel as though there's someone who's been checking you out, watching you. They see you as someone who's just right. They're going to talk to you. But I feel like you're looking for the one. And I feel like you're being very patient. You're waiting. Somebody here may be just waiting for the right time. And then you got the one person who rushes away because you're very, you're very much guarded. You're very much determined to have things your way. Because the emperor sometimes is an energy with someone who's got complete control of their love life. Somebody who's got very strong boundaries. And I really see that. So yeah, there's something here where you've been hurt. Somebody's got a fear of being hurt. 
you got this person coming in yeah someone has a little bit of fear reaching out talking to you there may be a need for an apology maybe somebody is a, just afraid of being hurt and they rush in and then rush back out as <laughs> you got your sword up that could be the other way around and then you got this person who's checking you out so you got a few people there's someone who doesn't want to let go so you've met somebody in the past that i feel like you just went nah it's not going where you want you had some kind of fear about this person could have been fears from past relationships anything but they're watching you secretly and they have some very deep feelings for you they see you as the one they see you as that perfect fit but there is a person here i feel there is a lack of balance there's someone here who's just not right for you and that's where you need to really take the time to think about who is right who isn't okay because i feel once you make a decision here it's going to be you're going to have to invest and you need to be a little bit patient i feel as though you're meeting a lot of new people you may have three people who want to invest in you and you may be not interested in any of them at this point but one person isn't giving up they're going to keep coming towards you whether they're an ex doesn't really feel like it you also got the person who is afraid of being hurt this is somebody who's a little shy little apprehensive maybe this is somebody who hurt you in the past coming trying to come back around i see possible third party and i see mostly fear with this person they want to rush in and talk to you but they're afraid so yeah and then you got the person who's holding on to you checking you out from a distance tell me about this emperor we'll get to the bottom yeah you're not so sure i'll tell you one thing anybody who comes towards you and they want everything their way there will be no way forward not gonna happen so i do see somebody becoming rejected um, i see two emperors then that breaks it down to two people and yeah you don't see a whole lot of hope here uh, yeah you're definitely going to reject anybody who comes in you don't want drama you don't want anybody who you're, yeah somebody here's just not good enough you're not accepting the way they approach you but you got this other person because you're going to look at the details and you're going to see this with this one person and then you got the other person here who's holding on that doesn't want to let you go in fact neither one of them will but one of them is very emotional i think they drink too much i do i feel like they have some issues they need to fix they need to figure out or maybe they need to realize they need to stop approaching you when they're drinking uh, that kind of energy for some of you i feel like you're going to be trusting your intuition here okay i feel like there's one person you already know everything you need to know and i feel like you're not comfortable with it but you have somebody <laughs> yeah, there is someone here who's coming in you're you got this one person this emperor that's checking you out now you i don't think you know this person i feel there is kind of a secret admirer it's definitely two people because an emperor does not come in in this energy okay an emperor doesn't come in afraid of being hurt or afraid to reach out no i just feel the emperor is the person that's watching you from a distance so kind of keeping it to themselves checking you out maybe you just want to know if you've got other people uh, the other person's definitely a no-go they keep rushing in before they communicate or when they do communicate they come in they're not reliable and i don't think you're going for it that is an absolute rejection somebody is afraid of being rejected too maybe they're afraid to come in and talk because they're afraid you'll reject them so it could be that too wow you got some people around you tell me about you're getting a lot of attention yeah you've got people who see you as just right but you're going to make the right choice for you and i feel like you're just going to stay free because you're getting a lot of attention until the right person comes in you want someone who comes in right you don't want anyone who just comes into you looking for attention you don't want anyone who comes in just to feed their ego you're not doing it wow i'm impressed with you guys you're really just sort of sticking to your guns and it looks like you are kind of at some point going to become very aware okay very much aware of your need to stand in your power to focus on yourself and your home your financial foundation you want someone who focus on you you want commitment something just hit me and i don't know like it doesn't even look christmasy something said something about christmas 
there's something you're thinking about here. You're just taking care of you and you will stand up for yourself. And I feel as though until people come in right, you've got them, they're here, they're around you, two or three people. I see a lot of communication. I see a lot of events, somebody coming to see you. Uh, you may even travel and go somewhere. Some of you could be moving from one home to another, going through a transition. You may meet a bunch of new people. Maybe you're just going to wait for that. You're getting the attention, though. I see it. I see you being having uh, invitations, events, a lot of talk. I see things moving. I think your love life is going to speed up. I do think somebody finds you attractive. Uh, you're very, and I, they see you as very confident, very hardworking, very dedicated. Aquarius, I feel the person coming towards you. Somebody here has got some Libra in their chart. Maybe some Sagittarius. There's some chemistry, going to be some chemistry between you and someone. They are looking at you. you got several people checking you out, watching you. And I feel like it's all on social media or dating sites. Or just when you're out and about in your community, they're looking at you. Possibly just keeping their distance a little bit till they figure you out but you're going to get an offer and you may get several offers i feel as though you're just going to stay single and i think that's what it is is you're very confident if you just stay single it's coming it's moving i feel you're invested in yourself but you have a person who's just like you look at that aquarius they could be a virgo cancer pisces scorpio gemini libra aquarius they could be cusp signs uh, I feel there's just a lot of people around you. I feel like you're meeting a lot of new people. I feel like you're very confident that you're going to find yourself in a committed relationship. Uh, it's telling you to stay confident and you can be confident about it. But there's definitely one person you're rejecting. No way forward. Okay. Or it's somebody else here. Like I say, there's a Libra person here who's weighing the pros and the cons of reaching out. They can't really see a way forward. So that could be the a person here the one that uh, keeps wanting to rush towards you and then rushes out before they really say anything or they come in and communicate and then kind of don't follow through they could be kind of hanging on to this looking at the details trying to figure out how to not let you get away because i feel like you're kind of in player mode not that there's anything wrong with going out playing and having fun meeting new people staying single till the right one comes somebody's investing in you though they see you as just like them now, this is somebody who's you got so much interest around you yeah see you're not investing in anyone who breadcrumbs you want someone who reciprocates equally so i feel like you will both kind of invest and you will talk a little bit back and forth sort of see where things go you're sticking to your guns though it's telling you stick to your guns be confident you are going to find yourself in a commitment and i don't know why but something when this card was here at christmas popped into my head and i don't know why there may be something happening you may travel somewhere at christmas maybe uh, and or do some socializing and that's where you may meet someone that's just like you i feel like you and this person are both single i think you're very compatible you're very much both get a lot of attention you and this person the main person the one that i feel is the person that you're inter that's going to be the most interested in you and and vice versa you are going to be compatible and i do think you're going to either just run into this person randomly there be a little not breadcrumbing because you know you can't really say that because put it this way if they don't invest in you and they're not generous you won't invest and someone's very well well aware of that energy but i feel there's someone who's coming in to reach out to you to let you know that they're invested they're planting that seed right there's that seed well planted efforts and investments that will be rewarded somebody may be making you a rather generous offer it's going to start small with a little bit of give and take back and forth it's going to take both of you you may chit chat back and forth with someone out in the community at some event could be a house party you may get invited to some little house party and i know in most places that's kind of a big no-no uh, so it's likely something small or it could be just out in the community somewhere even social media online dating somebody's taking a leap of faith 
I feel you, and there it could be an Aries taking a leap of faith to talk to you, to communicate. I feel like you're going to have a new beginning. You're going to go for this. And whoever this is, yeah, there is some kind of travel, some kind of movement. Somebody is definitely, one of these people's heading towards you. I see Aries for a lot of you. I also see an air sign. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Headed in your direction. I also see Earth. So, which is the one that you want? There you are. Seven of Cups. You have a lot of options. You're dreaming, fantasizing. Who is the one? Someone's fantasizing about you. It's probably time for you to make a decision because if you have, if you start meeting a bunch of people during the holidays or in the next wall or they're already around you, you have someone who's fantasizing about you. And I do feel like you're the one who's going to have to make this choice between several people. You're definitely going to go for something and it could be a trip. Somebody may invite, invite you on a trip, maybe during Christmas, the holidays or something. I don't know where that came from, but I it just happened here. It popped into my head. You can be confident something is going to happen by the holidays, okay? You're going to meet this person who's going to be very much like you. You may just be companions and just hang out and have a good time. Just be friends first. A little bit of back and forth to see where it's going. And all of a sudden, this person's going to take that leap of faith. Now, it could be online dating. And maybe at some point, they're going to travel to come and see you. This is where you take the time to get to know each other one step at a time. Getting closer. All right, getting to know each other, moving forward calmly and peacefully. I, I think you got love here, and I do think someone's fantasizing about you, and I feel like you're going to fantasize about this person after you meet them. They are that one option, that person who you feel is probably just right. You're both successful. You both want success. I see travel. I see movement. I see a new cycle. I see the sun shining. Somebody is coming in. They want to take it slow. They want to get to know you. Ah, you've got some options here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, possibly a Virgo, definitely for a lot of you. I see Aries for a lot of you. There's an Aries here, ready to take a leap of faith. I see a Leo, strong Leo energy. I feel there's a new beginning. Cooperation, compromise. You got new love coming. Things are going to go in your favor. So you're going to end some old cycles with some old people. So some of you probably just had your options open for a long time. And you got all kinds of people around. Things aren't really going anywhere. They're holding on to you, trying to figure you out. You may have somebody who's a bit of a player. You may have figured out they're a player, not interested. Because you're in this energy. You got choices to make. You want balance. You want someone who's just right. You're headed towards a commitment here. And it's someone who's very compatible. This is a team player. And it's, take, it's telling you to take it slow with whoever this is. It doesn't matter their sign. This is saying take it slow. Get to know each other one step at a time to allow things to move forward. Someone's fantasizing about you and they're trying to make a decision. They maybe even be thinking about something to buy you. They may be already in their head looking into the future at where this could go, preparing themselves. So get yourself ready, Aquarius. You got so much going on. And I feel a lot of signs have a lot of things that are starting to evolve. And this is about getting yourself out. And this whenever I see these two, I feel go out for walks, parks, get out in the sun chit chat with people you can keep your distance it's safe there will be this one particular person you're going to get comfortable with that you're going to meet and i feel this is going to be your person so <laughs> here you are single going for a walk and you know whenever i see this too it's like somebody who hunts alone <laughs> Aquarius, if you got Leo in your chart, you're definitely one of those people where you're not afraid to go out on your own and do things to meet people. It may be telling you you need to separate yourself from your friends and go out alone to meet this person. This might be somebody who is a little private, likes to keep things to themselves. They may not approach you if you've got people around you. Uh, not, not everybody likes to walk up when there's 
people, it doesn't matter where it is, and just walk up and say, hey, do you want to go out sometime with your friends around you? Most people really aren't into that. So it could be that situation. So it's telling you to hunt alone. Go for walks. Get out there. There's your person. Be confident. You're going to find yourself in a commitment. Tell me about this Queen of Wands energy. There we go. Yeah, there's love. Look at that. You are confident. Be confident. You're going to have love. You are going to get the commitment you deserve. Somebody here. It's also, I see a Gemini for some of you. Beautiful energy. Gemini, Aries for some. There's love here. Be confident. It's coming. Okay. Don't be afraid to go out. Be confident to go out alone and meet people because that's what's going to happen. It, and it, if this is, if you've been doing that, could be just going out in your community, going for a walk, shopping, going to a park. Who knows? You could be walking from your house down the street to check your mail. Who knows? Where there's someone got their eye on you, they will approach you. Okay, they're ready to come in and start something. They're a little slower moving because they're. I feel like they're gathering info. They're trying to figure out everything they need to know about you before they come in because they want things to go in their favor. Okay, and this in turn is going to make it go in your favor. Lovely energy. I'm going to grab some outcome cards. Oh my gosh, I couldn't dig into this any deeper without it getting even more confusing. But you're definitely going to let go of one person, at least one or a whole... Um, if you've got two, three, four, who knows how many that are interested, I see all kinds of energy. You will let everybody go for this person. That's going to be your one. You're having success. You're going to end up in a marriage. You will. This will move towards commitment. So yes, religious factors very soon. Ooh, getting on the same page. Make sure you decide what you want. See it saying, this is going to happen pretty soon. Make a decision about what it is exactly you want. Because when this person comes in, this isn't somebody who will take a rejection easy, I can tell you. All right? An emperor does not take a rejection easy. Not that they won't give up. Someone's checking you out. They are an emperor. They're looking for an empress. And they see you as that person. So there is getting on the same page. Make a decision whether or not you feel you can get on the same page with this person. You may be aware of them. You may have already met them. They may have already expressed interest to move forward. But things are moving slow. They haven't said a whole lot. Or, you know, they may be just reaching out a little at a time to see how things go. So it's up to you to decide. You might just want to take it slow. You may actually be the one in this energy Aquarius, where you may tell this person, let's just go slow and see where it goes. And I feel like that is probably your best course of action. It is safe to love. Ooh, open your heart. Oh my goodness. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. One more card for Aquarius. There we go. Getting to know each other. Yes, take the time to get to know somebody. Let them know that you need that time as well. Because I feel like you're... Not so sure, okay, with two or three people. And then we have passion, yeah. Get to know each other before you have this passion, okay. It's warning you to do that. That's how you know someone is serious. If they keep coming around, things keep going in your favor, they keep doing the right thing, asking about you, wanting to know more about you, before they start asking for passion, that's the person, okay. That's going to be your person, so you have new love. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Somebody new. Uh, a new start to love here. A new person has stirred. So it is a new person. They could be have Leo in their chart. They don't have to. I feel they have some earth in their chart. Definitely with this. You're going to meet this person. Hunt alone. <laughs> All right. Take care, you guys. Very exciting. Bye for now.